I am a big fan of responsive technology. Responsive and adaptive technologies will change its behavior, appearance, whatever is needed based on the context. For example, let me give an example. Let's say you have a data entry screen and you have a drop down. When you click on the drop down, there are only 20 entries in the drop down. Now, years pass by, more and more entries come into the drop down. Now it has got 1000 entries. Can you imagine somebody opening up a drop down and choosing from a thousand entry drop down? It's a nightmare, right? I like systems automatically changing its use cases and usages based on the circumstances. For example, what if the system is able to automatically without outsider intervention or a programmer going there and changing the code, the system is able to find out, huh, this drop down is going to display more and more data. So let me convert this into a lookup. So the next generation, generation applications are going to be more adaptive and more responsive like this. So last generation application, for example, if you see a web page on a computer, PC, versus when you see the same application on a mobile phone, it's responsive, it changes its look and feel, it hides certain things, it, it changes a bigger logo into a small logo. So that's called responsive design. But we need to walk beyond that. We need to get to the next generation systems which are self-driven, which are adaptive, responsive. Now let's review the same principle being applied in document management. So in document management, I want to talk about two things. One is server-side technology, one is client-side technology. A client, when it deals with the server, it asks for some information, right? For example, if a client is in mobile, client say, hey, I am a mobile client, I cannot display a large icon, I want a small icon. The client requests for a small icon, right? That's what we think. Ideally, that's not the way it happens. The server decides, okay, this is a mobile app. If it is a mobile app, I have to send this set of things. Sometimes the server say, hey, if the referrer or if the calling application is hosted by a mobile or a mobile, send him this file. So that's more a server's job of detecting the client and sending the information. But what if the client itself, a browser, when it is minimized, it asks for a smaller file to display. When the browser is bigger, like a TV-like screen, it asks for a high resolution file so that it can display reasonable quality image. So based on the context, if the client can communicate to the server, the type of information or file type, quality of the file, size of the file, watermark of the file, things like that. So, uh, for example, if client is hosted uh, or working from a, a licensed scenario, a licensed environment, client can request, hey, I want a file which is not watermarked. Client can request, hey, I want data which is not cached in the CDN. I want this file to be current and latest. Providing that kind of ability to the client, more than that, providing or developing a program a client program that is more powerful to be more adaptive to this. That's what we want to discuss when we deal with document management software, which are uh, adaptive to streaming. For example, let's say we see a video on iPad versus iPhone, how iPhone application changes its need and communicate to the server, hey, I want this, I don't want this. So that smartness has to be added to the client application. So essentially, what I'm saying is, we need to make the client application smart enough so it can request by judging the environment what it needs. Now, if the server application allows optionally 
to provide what he wants. Server application gives it. Otherwise, server is smart enough to decline the request and give a substitute. So the smart adaptive and responsive requesting is something that we need to start building and considering for the clients. The client should also be able to intelligently route the server routing, right? If information is not available from here, so go to another another region, things like that. So that's one part of the puzzle. Now let's look at the whole scenario from a different perspective, server capabilities. A server should be able to provide an image at different sizes. For example, if a client is asking, hey, I want a full blown file with the high, highest resolution, server should have a copy of it. If somebody say, hey, I want just a small icon sized image, server should be dynamically able to serve it so that the server does not have to transport the whole file back to the client. Instead, it sends a small file, saving the bandwidth. Client on the other side, maintain the quality, but quickly get the file and shows to the user. So win-win for both, right? So how do you build an adaptive responsive streaming framework, first of all? Now, remember, the concept that we learned, watermarking, steganography, encryption, and compression, mostly compression. Encryption is already taken care of, right? Compression. We need to learn a little bit more about it before coming up with a holistic architecture for this. But the new generation document management software will have smart, adaptive, and responsive capabilities. And we are going to build one of those frameworks right here. We will demonstrate the pluses and minuses, how it, we could do better. We review the architecture, we review the design, we review the usability. Stay tuned. For more videos on this topic, please subscribe the channel.